And Minnesota U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar was in Winona today to talk the threat of flooding. The Mississippi River now has a 45% chance to bring major flooding to that city. News 19's Bone Kidrovich gives us an idea how they're preparing. This was a winter like we haven't seen in decades. Um, and every time you hear that word, winter of the century or storm of the century, Mother Nature says, hold my beer. Springtime flooding in Winona begins to creep in. The river levels at Riverfront Street are currently at nine feet, but expected to rise over 15 feet by early next week. City officials say that as soon as tomorrow, the water will overflow these arches and the entirety of Riverfront Street will be underwater. Although predictions of major flooding have improved from last week, the city remains well prepared. We've checked up all of our pumps. We have four large pumping stations that's ready to go. Um, there'll be the holes in the dikes that will be filled right around that 16 feet level. Uh, they have reserve sandbags at the airport ready to go um, and they have a plan in place and that's what I think is really important. Minnesotans are good at being prepared. Preparations do not happen overnight. It takes a village there, or city yeah, right to work there. together to keep everyone walking on land. We really rely on and trust our staff, our local staff, whether it's public works, whether it's our emergency management team or administration within the city or the county, to really do a phenomenal job, not only in terms of preparation for an event like this, but also in terms of communicating to the public what the potential hazards might be. From national to local efforts to help keep residents of Winona dry. Reporting from Winona, I'm Bowen Kudrovich, News 19. Thanks, Bowen. And if serious flood damage were to occur, the state standard is $10 million in FEMA money for public infrastructure. City officials say it's also very unlikely the levy would have to be raised.